Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Bed Wars. Today we're going to be checking out some of the new maps. And we're starting out with Apollo. And the first thing I did when I saw this map, I don't know if I played that myself or if that was on YouTube that I saw it first. And the first thing that came to mind, this is an absolute copy of Nutcracker. Okay, let's get uh, Grey out here so I can continue talking about my topic. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Excuse me, sir. No, you cannot build next to the diamond generators. Thank you, goodbye. Let's just pick those up, actually. And, I mean, the first thing that I notice is just the way the maps, the, the diamond gens and all the bases are set up. It's so similar, you know, you have the diamond generators right in between the two bases diagonally. And then you have these little islands that were the presents in the Nutcracker themed map. And then you have this long divide here and the middle is structured the exact same. You have this long part in the middle there and then those two on the sides and stairs going up to those. And also you can, there's a bit of a diagonal part between the diamond generators in the middle. So this is absolutely just a reskin, but I, I have to say I quite like Nutcracker. Nutcracker is really cool, especially if you lose your, uh, let's put those diamonds here. If you lose your bed, you can run around for quite a while and it's it's totally fine. And you can also go to the bases next to you through the, the presents really quickly. So I see that my neighbors aren't really done with anything, but uh, diagonally the first rush was completed. So I'm gonna go there and collect some emeralds on the way. Okay, Aqua doesn't seem to be looking in my direction, so I'm just gonna go for the bed here. Right, I'm uh, of course retarded again and forgot to check that they actually had a bed, which they don't in this case. And I can also get the iron armor here, that's great. Now I would really like to kill Aqua before they get become a threat stacking up or anything. That worked out wonderfully. <laughs> Too bad I didn't get the final, but you know, I'll take anything at this point. Ooh, green went mid. I don't like that. Green, get back here. Oh no, green, you don't. No, no, you don't. Did you realize? Please tell me you realized and you're gonna go away. Ah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, the one thing I don't really like about this map is that it's really easy to get rushed out of the blue. Because you basically do your first rush every time through the diamond gen. And then once you go to mid, it's really fast to get to any other diamond gen and then to their base. Oh, hold on, did he go to gray? I don't, I hope not. Otherwise I'm gonna have a problem here. I'm gonna lose my bed. Oh yeah, he's at, a ba at his base. Great. Well, that's a bed here. Yeah, he tried to fireball me away or something. Where, where did he? I'm so, what? What just happened? I'm so confused. Where is he? What is going on? Green is still alive. He's in the sidebar, but I don't understand where he is. Well, anyway, I have no clue where green is. They're still alive, and I still have no clue where they are because I, like, I looked back and they didn't. They weren't running away toward mid. I don't understand anything anymore. Where could they be? Okay, so I cannot find green for the life of me. Well, I haven't really done much. I just ran around mid, collected emeralds and then left. But yeah, I just cannot find them. I have no clue where they are. Are you kidding me? Pink actually has a bow. Yeah, no, you're not gonna shoot me with that. Okay, maybe you are. Please stop. I should have waited with those fireballs to shoot them. Please tell me he's gonna fall down. Please tell me this makes him fall down. Well, doesn't matter, I got him anyway. Let's see if I can get the bed here without dying, actually. I'm gonna grapple up here, because he didn't buy anything either. Shove him away. No! No! <laughs> Alright, here we are in the second game. Well, that was, uh, the ending was quite embarrassing. I did not shove him far enough, and then for some reason he got a combo on me, and I was just gone. Right, but now we are back on Biohazard, and I have to say, I always really like that map, and I played this like way before I even had this account and the YouTube channel. And I remember like this was one of the oldest maps I played, and I quite like it, I quite like it, I have to say. No, are you kidding me? No, that's not cool. How did they, how did I not get the last hit on them? They're still pretty low, so as long as I have a normal melee fight and they don't shove me down like they would have right there, then I'll be totally fine, just like that. Don't take too much fall damage, so I might be able to actually kill them here. Let me just run away for a second, then get the low ground. Whoa! Excuse me, please. 
Come on, please. Nope, of course not. I should have jumped there and used the crit. Okay, I can't buy iron armor yet, but that's fine because they won't be able to either. I haven't invested any gold yet, but they have for their wood. So I'll be fine here. I just have to kill them as quickly as possible to get them out of the, out of the race. And I just lost, lost two hearts. Great. They just fell into the void. Awesome. I'll take that. I guess I'll just keep going for Grey then. I have to say I've also really worked been working on my fast bridging technique, speeds, security, all that. Because I, it was really getting to me that I was failing my bridge so often. So I worked on that and now I can pretty consistently fast bridge. It's slower than before, but it's way more consistent and that's what I need for Red Wars. Okay, yeah, so Grey is a threat, absolutely. Is it them? I can't tell in this mode of viewing. But because they already got, take out, took out one base, then went to the diamond gen, then went to the next base, and they're still running, so they're definitely not bad. I'm gonna have to watch out for them. Okay, so Grey just killed Aqua over there. I think it was pretty close, they had a nice fight. Grey is on 12. Okay, that wasn't too close. But they were final, and now I just have to kill Grey. Maybe I can inflict enough damage just with these five balls I got. As long as they don't keep running forever here. I would like to buy some more blocks and stuff if I need them, but I'd prefer running after them here. And then possibly fireballing them off. Uh, yeah, um... Yeah, no, I don't want you to keep doing that. Thank you. Please stop. And now they're going up really steeply, huh? Wow, that was a perfect shot. An absolutely perfect shot. Awesome. And let's do the third game. I think this is going to be my last one for today. We are on Krogorm. I also remember the playing this a lot uh, when I was still pretty bad at the game. But yeah, this is also one of my good past memories of Bed Wars. One thing I realized but never really used is this danger of getting rushed diagonally and horizontally at the same time, which is happening right now. And it's really annoying. See, white's going over there and yellow's rushing me through here. No! Oh my gosh, how did I land so off the block? Okay, thank god. White is not pressuring me so I can keep going for yellow here. And I'll just try and trap you, but of course it's not going to work because I never have that luck. Well, I shouldn't say, never say never, but almost never. Alright, we got them. Now let me just steal their resources because I'm definitely not going to kill them here. Maybe I am. Great. Alright, let's keep moving. I'm gonna go back to base. Let's see. Are we looking there? Can I avoid? Well, I guess I, I'm avoiding. And nice. White is rushing the other way, so I don't have to deal with that. I do have to watch out if green's gonna come for yellow, though. Yeah, so if green gets to the diamond gen there, then I have to stop worrying about my bed. But I'm gonna be able to get white here, and I think they're also coming back. Maybe they want to invite me to kill them. That would be really nice of them. Here steps. Oh, yep. Okay, that is definitely white. And I guess I'm dead here. Green has only made a small advance, so I'm, I'm fine over there, but white seems to be pretty good. I'm gonna really have to out PvP them if I want to win this here. Oh, green is making some real advances over there. I don't like that at all. What is he gonna do? What are they gonna do? Come on. I'm just gonna go in here. I do not like this situation. Really, not at all. Well, oh wow, that worked out really, really well for me. I'm just gonna buy a fireball. Maybe I can fireball green from coming to the. Oh, never mind. They're not a threat at all. all. Right then, can I? Can you place blocks here? This. Yep. Oh, of course you can't. I don't know if I should go for green here or for go for grey because grey is coming from the other side, like along white somewhere over there. But green is also the diamond gen here, and they're a lot closer in terms of bases in between us. Okay, never mind. Grey just got killed by blue, so we should be fine on this side. I'll just keep going for um, green then. Alright, well hello there green. I did not have my fireball in the right slot. That is very unfortunate. I'm just gonna get back here and um, not do anything with these diamonds because I would have to take some more out of my chest to, do, to be able to do anything viable here. And I'm kind of stuck here because they have me pinned one way or another. Come on. Yes, perfect. We actually got that. And leave them on. Oh my god. Now, here's green. What am I going to do about you, green? Huh? 
Perfect, that's what I'm going to do about you. Now let's not fall down here again. And they were actually a fi- no, what? Why did blue come over here randomly, just destroy the bed and then went away? They're not around, I don't hear any footsteps and I just saw a name tag over there. I don't- I don't get that. Oh, you, you were still dealing with grey, what the hell? And we got them here. Okay, so I really stacked up on stump stuff and they're gonna go the other side now. I don't know if I should void or like stash my stuff in void. Okay, yeah, they're definitely going the other side. Can I maybe just fireball into unloaded chunks? That would be epic if that works. I'm just gonna try and fireball that bridge so he has a longer time to get over there and I'm nearly at his base so I can hopefully get the bed when I'm there. He's still at white, his bed is so gone. What is he gonna do now? Wow, that was easy. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheerio.